Okay, we're going to make a table of five points and then grab this parabola. And remember, the most important point is the vertex of the parabola, right? And to do so, we are going to use the vertex formula because we have this equation in the standard form. So with that being said, remember that x is equal to negative b over 2a. This will give you the x value of the vertex. And right here, the a value is negative 2. And the b value is positive 8. c is negative 3, but we don't need the c in the vertex formula. Anyway, we plug this in. So plugging 8 into b, we have negative from this formula. And then b is 8. And then on the bottom, we have 2 times negative 2 into this a, like this. And now on the top, we have negative 8. And then on the bottom, this is 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. And then when you reduce this out, you get a positive 2 at the end. So this is the work that we do, right? And now, usually we also have to get the y value. But since we are making a table of 5 points, we will have the x and y values on the table already. So let me just leave that. And I'm just going to put down the table right here. Here are the x values. And I'll put down the y value right here. y is equal to negative 2 times x squared plus 8x minus 3. And we want to have 5 points. So let me just do like this. OK? And now here's the deal. Whenever you find out the x value of the vertex, you always put this right in the middle, namely on the third spot right here. OK? So we have a 2 right here. And then you are going to pick out its neighbor numbers. So by that, I mean when you have 2, well, toward the left and toward the right, we will have 1 and 3. And then you go ahead and do more. You have 0 and 4, like this. And these are the x values that we are going to use. It's, we are plugging this into the x values right here, and then we'll get y values, OK? And let's get the vertex first, OK? Plugging 2 into here, we get negative 2 times 2 squared, and then plus 8 times 2, and then minus 3, like this. And now we are just going to work this out. This is going to be, this is still negative 2. But if you work this out, this is positive 4. And then plus, this is going to be you know, 2 times well, let's write it down like this, 2 times, 8 times 2, and then minus 3. And now, this times this, negative 2 times 4, it's going to be negative 8. And then, 8 times 2 is ma plus 16. And then, we have the minus 3 at the end, right? And then, seriously, just work this out on your own, maybe. Or I can do this, you know, we can do this in your head. Negative 8 plus 16 is positive 8. And then, minus 3 is positive 5, okay? And then, as long as you're doing it this way, you know that the answer right here will be the same answer right here because parabolas are symmetrical, and likewise, these two will have the same answer. And of course, when x is equal to 0 and 1, it's easier to compute. So let's just plug in 0 and 1 into here. Uh, let's do the 0 first because it's easier. So 2 times 0 squared plus 8 times 0, and then minus 3, right? It's really easy because you just get negative 3. Name the constant term. And then you know this right here will also have negative 3 for the y value. You can also plug in 4 into the x and just work it out to double check. But you know, as long as you are sure with your computation, you know you're doing it right. Anyway, we plug in 1 here as well. Negative 2 times 1 squared plus 8 times 1 and then minus 3 like this. Right here, we will have 1 squared is just 1, so this is negative 2 times 1, plus 8 times 1, minus 3. OK, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and then 8 times 1 is plus 8, and then minus 3 like this, right? OK, negative 2 plus 8 is 6, and then minus 3 is going to be positive 3 now. So, you know, this point right here is also going to have the uh, same y value, 3. OK, we have the tables, right, table of the values, and we are going to be just graphing this. So, let's see it. So, I need to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I also have to go up to 5. Let's see, let's see, this is going to be 
one, two, three, four, five. And then I need to go down to negative three, so let's see. One, two, three, like this. First of all, two comma five, that's the vertex, so let's see. Right here, two comma five, so it's right here. And then when x is equal to one and three, the y values are both equal to three. So I will have one comma three right here, and three comma three right here. And then when x is equal to zero or four, the y values are negative three, right? So when x is zero, we have negative three. When x is four, we also have negative three. Let me make this maybe like this, and more accurate this way. Anyway, uh, we are just going to be connecting the dots with a parabola. And then we are done.